Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Teman-teman semuanya selamat datang di Jembatan Dakwah Dan kali ini adalah part 3 Part 3 dari video Muhammad Ali versus Ateis ya. Kita tahu sendiri bahwa um, Orang-orang di sana itu Agak bebal ya, ya. <laughs> Dan bebalnya Semakin menjadi-jadi di video ini Bebalnya seperti apa? Simak video ini selengkapnya hingga akhir Agar kalian tidak salah paham Selamat menonton dan semoga bermanfaat Mari kita mulai Because it will, it will not be good Because to claim that science has a clear idea of this, that's not true. Yeah, it's, it's pretty clear. Like we have, we can okay. see some Okay, let me ask you one question. Uh, let me ask you one question then, because you you, you seem to be... Uh, mm -hmm. but, but look, look, I, I'm showing you now, and I, I wanted to say this first, right? You're going in a loop, right? Which, with all due respect, with your insincerity. Because you say that I follow science because religions are not rational. I've demonstrated to you that this claim cannot apply to Islam because the claims that you made were not true, right? So now you go to science, even yeah. though I was dealing with the point why you believe in science to begin with. So you're going and loop, you're going and you have some a bit of circular reasoning here. When, when I answer the religion part, you go to science. If I answer science, you go to the religion part. Okay, right? you, so then, you uh, and, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, wait, 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 no problem. Please continue. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, thank you. I'm just trying to make a point of how there is a bit of circular reasoning happening here, right? Now, coming to the point now, right? Can you, do you know what abiogenesis is? I said what? Well, you, you're just quoting evolution. You don't know what abiogenesis is? Oh, but, okay, sure, sure, sure. Why is abiogenesis? No, what? No, okay, I, I don't know this word. What, what is, okay, so you don't know. So you just cla claim that science has a clear idea of, of something and you don't know the basics of evolution. <laughs> so that's why I said to you, you don't want to go there. Abiogenesis is how the first cell or how the life came came into existence. You can Google it now, I can hear you typing, by the way, yeah? So you okay. can, uh, abiogenesis is the, is the beginning of biological li life, litter. Abiogenesis, right? How biological life started. Now, can right. you give me an answer now? You, you claim that science has a clear cut answer mm -hmm. for how life began or how humans began or this or that. Show me now, what is the scientific answer for, the, for abiogenesis, for the beginning of biological life? A natural process by which life has arisen from non-living matter, such as simple no, no, no. organic. What is that? Wait, 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 wait! You just you just reading words, right? I'm not, I don't want you to read the words. Yeah. I want you to an to actually answer the question. What is the natural process? Wait, so you can't answer a question by reading what what scientists? No, you're reading science? something which has nothing to do with what I'm saying. You're, you claim it. You have to expound on your words. You're just using the word <laughs> natural Literally process. The answer. Okay, tell me what is the natural <laughs> process? How did we have biological life? How did carbon literally grow? A pair of hands and legs and started walking. Explain. Oh, to that, <laughs> no, no, that's not how it works. Oh, it's a very long works. process. But tell uh, me, I, tell me. In the beginning of the process, I, I, how does it I work? I don't understand. You can Google it if you want. You can Google it. I, but why am I saying you can Google it? Because an science does not give you an answer to that question, anyways. So you can Google day and night, but they don't have an answer. True, but that's what science believes. No, you made a claim that the, 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 you, have, you have a very clear idea of how life began as yeah, a human pretty, being. Yeah, I said pretty clear. Oh yeah, pretty clear means clear to me, at least in English, you know, that's what I know. <laughs> clear means clear, right? So how did biological life start? Clearly, tell me this clearness that science has. Yeah, so from uh, non-organic matter, uh, some... Where does non-organic matter things. like what? What do you mean by non-organic matter? Uh, look, speak to me like I'm a baby, I'm two years old. Explain to me words by word. What do you mean by non-organic matter? Non-organic, just... Uh, Something that is not living, not a living okay. organism. So okay. from so very simple, like what, like what, like rocks or this or that, like right? Okay. Fossils like rocks, yeah. Fossils did not exist before human beings. Yeah, so right. rocks, for example, yeah. So lo like rocks, yeah. And how did rocks become human beings? From chemical reactions. Chemical That's reactions it. in rocks, but there is no chemical reactions in rocks. They're not a living, a living creature. Oh, of course, we How have did drugs? carbohydrates, we have sugars, we have amino acids. Uh, these all react and create chemical reactions, and that's how you, you, oh, we can have... What are you doing here? You're going to the end of the story. Uh, but do you know what is the main component of a cell? <laughs> Not sure. You Why do I have to main... know that? Because you believe in evolution. It's a biological theory. Yeah, and because, you don't know the basics okay. of biology. 
Do you know okay. why? I may go for that. Wait, wait, wait. I, that's why I said to you, you shouldn't go there. And I was saying that for, for your sake, not for mine. Look, a cell, the main component of a cell is proteins. Proteins are mainly composed of amino acids. Okay. Now we are talking before the existence of a cell, how the cell came into be. And you are saying amino acids is a solution, but there was no cells yet. I'm looking for an answer that you cannot use proteins because there was no proteins. You cannot use amino acids. It, did not, it was not yet in existence. There was no cells. <laughs> okay. I'm saying the beginning, the beginning. How did the rock become a human being? Please enlighten so, me. So you think it's more likely that the God said, uh, mm. let's create a human being. I don't being think anything. And... I, I'm just I'm just talking about your claim. No, you wait, wait. That, that's what you, you have that's a what clear you idea. Think. Sorry, that's what no, you no, have no, to wait. think because you're a Muslim. Wait. No, no, no. You made a claim. You've said that we have a clear idea. I was just rebuting that. Oh, I, for I me, I know. For me, I, I'm giving you my answer if you idea. want my answer. If you want to move on from, from this point, which you've, you've demonstrated that science does not have a clear idea, clearly, because they have no answer for abiogenesis. They cannot explain this miraculous thing of, of this uh, ma magic liquid of uh, you know rocks becoming human beings or water becoming wow. human beings or whatever it is, right? Now, what, I'm, what I believe as a Muslim is I first established rationally, right? That there is- yeah, very rationally. Uh, and how do I do that? Because you're do you sarcastic for no reason. Now. <laughs> how do you prove that? You didn't like, ask me. What What are your methods of? Uh, okay, let me of, answer you by uh, let me answer you by asking you a question. What do you mean? <clears throat> what do you mean by proof? What would prove to you to you? What would be proof that there is a creator? Yeah, because the thing is, uh, science developed a very strict methods of acquiring knowledge. Saitama, Saitama, Saitama. And Saitama. Religions hear... don't ha don't have that. Saitama, Saitama, I don't want you to be answering questions that I, I'm, I'm not asking because I feel like you're just trying to respond. I'm asking you a simple question. I'm saying to you, how, what do you mean by proof? I want you to listen to my question, please. I'll try to answer. What do you mean by proof when you say you have proof that God exists or you don't have? I mean something with yeah. proof. I have my own definition of what I mean by proof, uh, right? I, but you're saying to me, what is proof to you, 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 to you, Saitama? What is proof to you that there is a creator? How can you prove that there is a creator? Um, no, you can't prove that. It's up to okay. what you believe. So you're asking me to prove something that cannot be proved. Do you see the hypocrisy that, that you're displaying? Oh, so it, it can't be proved. So you believe... No, that's what you believe. I'm just saying you are being hypocrite in your criteria. You don't believe you can prove God exists, but you still <laughs> demand evidences from me. What a hypocritical thing to do. Because I you're believe asking you can me, prove. Because you, yes. you are asking me to prove uh, that, that what science believes is, is a... Is that an answer? And when I ask you the same thing, uh, I didn't ask you that. You, wait, what? No, you just asked no. me why I believe that science believes uh, life uh, was created from not non organic matter to a no, organic no, matter. No, I didn't do that. Can I take you back with my? Because I have a, okay. a, mem a good memory. It was a very of similar discussion. question. Okay, sure. No, no, no. I, no, I have a good memory of the discussion. What happened is we were talking mm. about about uh, mm. God's existence, or we talking about the Quran, about the first human being being a Muslim. Then you moved on into the idea. You said, you know what? Do you, do you believe that God created humans? Then I said to you, yes. Then you said yeah. to me, no, but in science, we have a clear idea. You see, I remember the discussion. Then you That's said to me, no, clear. no, no. Science has a clear idea. That, uh, and then I asked you, what is this clear idea? And yeah. I was asking you questions about the clear idea. And you didn't have answers for yeah. abiogenesis. Then we concluded that there is no clear idea there when it comes to abiogenesis. Right? Then you asked me, okay, what do you have to prove that God exists? So then I asked you, what do you mean by proof? You see? This is the conversation now until the point that we are at. I, I know very well what you're saying and I know very well what I'm saying. So please don't try to change no, what, because... the, the goalpost, right? <laughs> Sorry, so, I'm, when... so, so I'm asking you, then when I asked you, what is proof for you, Saitama? Can we prove that God exists? What will prove? You said nothing can prove that God exists. So why were you asking me for evidence for God's existence mm -hmm. when you believe that it cannot be proved? Don't you think that's a hypocritical thing? Because you believe you cannot prove it. So why would you ask me for evidence for something that cannot be proven? Whatever I show you, you believe that it cannot be proven. So, so you, 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 you agree. you're in essence be so, wasting my time. So you agree that the existence of God cannot be proven? No, I don't agree. I believe that existence of God can be proven. I believe the existence of God can be proven through different, different methods, right? I don't think that to what prove methods? God exists, for example, using rationality using rational argumentation for example uh using induction deduction and all of these type of rational argumentation to come to the existence that there is a creator i believe intuitive knowledge intuitive knowledge which is knowledge that is uh, within every human being without any influence of external factors can be used as evidence to show that there is a creator so what i would say to you saitama by the way what i would say to many atheists as well 
what I would say is that the existence of, or the belief in God or the evidence that God exists is something is, <clears throat> that is a part of the human nature anyways. <clears throat> I do not need to prove that God exists because every human being is born with the belief that God exists already. That's an innate <laughs> thing. I don't think there is so. there is studies about that. I can give you studies if you want. Justin Barrett conducted a study in, in, in Oxford University. What they did is that they brought children from 20 different countries, 50 academics, and they're all atheists, by the way. Yeah, they're not but believing uh, people. Right. And they conducted studies on these children and they concluded that all of these children mm. believe in a higher entity, believe in a divine entity without any influence from their parents. They, they made this on uh, uh, this uh, experiment on children and they brought children from atheistic countries from uh, China, from Japan, in which they will not teach their children about God to begin with. And these children display that there is a higher entity, there is a creator. There's other, uh, the, there's other uh, uh, experiments that happen in Oxford and many other places, right? And, and in which we can display every, every, no, every civilization that exists in human history believed in some, some form of higher power. Every, yeah. every civilization, any history that we have of them believed in some sort of higher entity, higher power. Which not, shows not that this every, is a part. Not, not every civilization. Which, which, give me one civilization that was strictly atheistic. Did not Chinese, believe in Chinese, some Chinese civilizations. We, we, they believed in higher powers. It, is, it doesn't seem like you've, you've had, read you've read about the Chinese beliefs. They had different deities, but they still no, believed in higher power. Some of them didn't have deities. Uh, Give me an example. Give me one they, name. Uh, Taoism. You're talking about things today. I'm saying back in history. Give me an example of a civilization, not a belief system, which is Taoism, a civilization or a group of people that existed in a, a location that did not believe in any, that they were purely atheistic. You're not going to yes. find them. Some, some Chinese people. Like in, you know, by the way, atheists, even atheists disagree with you. Atheists, if you read the historical literature, which I, I'm, I can see you've not read, they claim, which I disagree with them, but their claim is that uh, polytheism started before monotheism. So they claim that in the distant past, in these civilizations, they have polytheism. They were believing in different forms, different gods, different entities, etc. But they, mm -hmm. they were polytheistic. But in, in summary, they believed in a higher entity, the Egyptians, the Chinese, okay. everyone. They all believed in some form mm -hmm. of higher entity. Okay. Now, the so, point is, I've, I've brought research to demonstrate that. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, you want to say something? So based on what you, what you just said, uh, a lot of different civilizations believed in different gods. Um, and, and we can, we can uh, you know, find that they, these gods had different features. Um, not all of them were the same, so it's inconsistent. It's not the same god. They invent they clearly invented different gods uh, for for their no purposes. Problem. No problem. So now you move the goalpost from that they didn't believe in a creator, that they believe in different forms of the creator, and which is irrational. What are you trying to say? It's irrational yeah, because they're different. Wait, 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 wait. It's the best. Okay. It's irrational because it's different conceptions of God. Right. So you're saying if there is multiple ways to view something or do something, therefore that thing does not exist or is in is inaccurate. No, as I said, so there is a thousand way of me to learn how to swim. That means you cannot learn how to swim because there's so many ways of how to swim. Or because if there's so many people who describe me, Muhammad, so many people who describe me in different ways, that means I don't exist because there's so many descriptions of me. That's in essence your argument. And the argument is, is ir irrational. In fact, it goes against you because if there are so many people describing an entity that shows that this entity has existence, but they don't know the attributes, or they're mistaken when it comes to the attributes of the entity. And by the way, they agree on many attributes. They agree that the entity is all powerful. They agree that yeah. entity is all knowing. They agree that entity is transcendent, beyond, created the universe. All Usually. of these things, they will agree. They will, yeah, they will agree upon the, these things, which shows <coughs> that these things things have evidence bearing because people believe in them. Yeah, and, and I think people had motivations to create gods. That's why they invented them. But let's come That's back because we digress. Point. Let's come back because we digress. I, I've ever de demonstrated to you now one of the forms of evidences that makes me believe in a creator. That's just one, by the way. Yeah, there are many others I can demonstrate. But one of them is that belief in God anyways is a part of human nature. I do not need to show evidence for God because it is a part of human nature. It's, a, it's given I mean, within every human being to begin with. I mean, I could agree with that. That doesn't prove anything. It only proves that. Do you know what it proves? Do you know what wants it proves? to believe in a God? No, 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 no. I'll give you the argumentation now to understand what I'm saying. Every innate universal belief that human being has is true. <laughs> what? The, wait, the wait. belief. What? Can you repeat every, that? Every universal innate belief in God. So something universal within every human being. Okay? What and it believe? is innate. It is innate. 
Listen to what I'm saying so you can understand my argumentation. I understand. Something Why would you believe that? Why would I you believe answer you. it's I will true? Answer you. I will answer you. I will answer you. But do you understand my argument? Every innate belief, meaning every belief that is within every human being that we have so far is true. I'll give you an example. Causation. Cause and effect. That's an innate belief and there were studies about that. For example, they, they brought babies and they put a table and, and they removed the table without the books falling and the baby was shocked because the baby expects the books to fall. If you touch a baby in a dark room, he looks where who touched me because he's expecting there is a cause for the effect that took place. So cause and effect, which I'm sure you would agree with that because that's how science works anyways. Cause and effect is something that we, is, that we have innately as human beings. Do you agree? Yeah, I could agree okay. with that. That's universal and it is true. Another example of an innate universal belief that uh, human beings have that we exist, that we're, that we're aware. We have awareness that we are aware of our surroundings and there is something that is called us that we exist. That's a universal innate belief that mm -hmm. human beings have. And you can look for any innate universal belief, universal and innate, and you will find out that the universal innate belief is true. Now, my argument is every innate universal belief is true. The belief of God is an innate universal belief. Therefore, the belief of God is true. There you go. That's no, not necessarily. That's my I mean, reason. Why? Tell me. What's the problem with my argumentation? I'm happy to hear. Because uh, the idea that a lot of people believe something doesn't mean that it's true. No, I didn't say a lot of people. I said there's an innate universal. Everyone. Belief. So you're universal, yes. Everyone that. in, that's what universal means. Yeah. Hmm. You're not going to find, if in order for you to disprove me, you have to show me an innate universal belief that human beings have that is not true. And it doesn't exist. I mean, um, okay. Every innate said... universal belief that we have is true so far. Huh. You just said everyone is aware. That, and that's, uh, no, we believe that's we have awareness. So we were born oh. that we believe that we exist, for example. That's what I mean. Okay. I mean, no one is uh... born. No one is born. He, uh, who doesn't believe that he exists, for example, you know, he's born and he doesn't think that he's here or he does not have awareness of him, his existence, that he exists or he's talking to you or he's moving. Everyone I mean, is born with an innate, with this innate kind of belief that you exist. Or the, the idea of, uh, I don't want to go into it. Yeah, because but generally just, that you have awareness. Yeah. yeah. It's common sense to think that. Yeah, of course. But it's, an, it's, it's something that you're born innately believing in. Because rationally, you can be born believing that's a possibility. You can be born believing that you don't exist. But huh. but this but this is think, not the case. But this is I, not I don't the case. Think, I don't think I would uh, invent a God on my own if no one uh, indoctrinated me. How is that related to what we're saying? Because um, you said that everyone inherently, innately believes in God. That's what the research, the research shows. Right? I, I think you will never become. You would never have become atheistic. If you were born and no one influenced you from your external factors, the only reason you're I, an atheist, I don't think it's, and by the way, I believe I've only, I, I believe I've demonstrated that by showing that you believe in things without knowing them in detail, like the Big Bang or evolution or, or this or that. You believe in them because you've been socialized to believe in them. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, I learned that science is reliable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You've been socialized into those beliefs. I'm making the claim that the belief in God is innate. It's not a social, a socialized belief. And it is true. And it is within every human being. And I've demonstrated with the research. But anyways, I will have to let you go. Because it's been now, I don't know, maybe we're okay. talking for what, 40 sure. minutes or something like that. Yeah. Thank you anyways, for time. Have a good no one. Problem. No problem. I'm, and I'm, I want to say that I'm, I'm happy that you come on. I'm happy you had, that we had a discussion. I hope I was not, uh, I didn't offend you in any way. I didn't say anything which is uh, impolite. And I f uh, forgive me, no, I apologize if I did. And I hope you, you can maybe get yourself one day to pick a copy of the Quran and read it. You know, yeah, I hope you do. I Take hope care. you do. Anyways, nice Bye. talking to you, Saitama. Yeah? See you. Dan begitulah video yang dapat kami sampaikan kepada kalian semuanya teman-teman Semoga bermanfaat, semoga bisa diambil hikmah, diambil ibrahnya Kita memang tahu bahwa orang-orang di luar sana itu memang uh, Apa namanya Cerdas-cerdas, pinter-pinter ya teman-teman orang di luar sana Tapi bebalnya itu loh teman-teman Mereka tuh kayak Bodo amat lah yang penting uh, argumen gue bener Kayak misalnya nih ya Misalnya orang-orang seperti di Perancis gitu ya Mereka mengatakan, weh kita itu memiliki hak kebebasan berpendapat, semua orang berhak untuk mengenakan pakaiannya masing-masing. Tapi di sisi lain, ketika umat Islam uh, menyatakan sesuatu, mereka, weh kamu nggak bisa kayak gitu. Berarti kan tidak bebas berpendapat. Ketika orang lain membagi hijab, mereka, ketika orang lain memakai, ketika orang Islam memakai nikop, mereka bilang, nggak boleh itu, itu adalah simbol keagamaan. Eh, 
katanya bebas berpendapat katanya bebas uh, berpakaian sesuai keinginan mereka bahkan mereka bebas mendefinisikan diri mereka itu apa Be- mereka boleh mendefinisikan laki-laki mendefinisikan sebagai perempuan perempuan mendefinisikan sebagai laki-laki mereka boleh tapi ketika itu berhubungan dengan Islam mereka seperti ketakutan sayang sekali itulah standar ganda yang dilakukan di luar sana dan itu terus berlanjut sampai saat ini di Perancis namun negara 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 sekitarnya memang sudah mulai terbuka dengan Islam seperti di Inggris ketika Muhammad Salah masuk ke Liverpool banyak orang yang akhirnya masuk Islam dan banyak orang yang tidak uh, apa namanya tidak fobia lagi terhadap Islam dan tapi di Prancis nggak boleh kayak misalnya pas Ramadan kemarin mereka nggak boleh berbuka puasa pas maghrib ketika sedang bertanding hmm. why dan itulah video ini dapat kami sampaikan kepada kalian semuanya ya semoga bermanfaat terima kasih selamat uh, sampai jumpa pada video berikutnya wassalamualaikum